how to quit your job in three simple steps on today's episode. Today's episode is brought to you by Thrive Themes. Blazingly fast WordPress templates and plugins built to get more traffic, more subscribers, more clients, and more customers to you. To find out how Thrive Themes can turn your blog or website into a money-making work of art, go to servenomaster.com backslash Thrive Themes. Are you tired of dealing with your boss? Do you feel underpaid and underappreciated? If you want to make it online, fire your boss and start living your retirement dreams now, then you've come to the right place. Welcome to Serve No Master Podcast, where you'll learn how to open new revenue streams and make money while you sleep. Presented live from a tropical island in the South Pacific by best-selling author, Jonathan Green. Now, here's your host. Today we have a really special episode. I'm excited to share something important with you, but also... You may notice in the background, uh, that's my son making a little bit of noise. Mommy wants to sleep a little more, and my son woke up early, so he's hanging out with me. There might be a little bit of uh, background noise, but hopefully he won't be too crazy loud. And we could talk about something I'm really excited about. (laughs) There he goes, which is how to quit your job in three very simple steps. Oftentimes, we're trying to find that quick, get rich quick solution. I was looking on Quora this morning, as I often do when I'm thinking about what to talk about. And I was just amazed by the number of people that are just looking for advice on the internet from a stranger saying, how do I make money? How do, what do I do with a hundred thousand dollars? What would it be like to be rich? All these questions that are so much about money and there's such an air of desperation to them. And so many people seem to be looking for luck or simple formulas. And I want to give you my simple formula for financial success, How, how to quickly and effectively put yourself in a position where you can leave your job behind, where you can support your family, where you're making enough money from home to really support your family, to take care of your bills. I've noticed there's been a big uptrend lately in multi-level marketing companies, really pyramid schemes that are targeting... Yeah, (laughs) he agrees with me. A lot of these schemes are targeting new moms, mothers, and you suddenly notice someone has a baby and their Facebook feed starts off with tons of pictures of the baby and it turns into tons of pictures of just pitching a multi-level marketing scheme. And the problem with that type of business and the reason I'm not a big believer in it is because they're constantly changing. How many MLMs have you seen come and go in the last 10 or 20 years? They're constantly coming and constantly going. They come, the people at the top make a bunch of money and then they shut down 18 months later. I've seen this everywhere from cookware to gold, and everything in between. I've seen it for blogs and all these other businesses. Everyone I know three years ago was talking about this big blogging platform that was a big MLM, and then suddenly it disappeared. So I'm not a big believer in that stuff. You may, that may be the path you wanna go down, but I'll never teach about that. I know some people that do it, and everything about it I don't like. I don't like a business that doesn't have longevity because you gotta start over again every few years and reconvince the same people to do the exact same thing over and over again for different ideas and products. And that's just not what we want to do. So what we really want is a three-step plan where you can quit your job, make the money you need without getting caught up in multi-level marketing or some type of scheme that's not going to work. So to really succeed financially, all you need is a good plan and good execution. So there's the two elements of success. The good plan comes from finding a good course to follow, finding a good path to follow. This is knowledge. In this case, what you have from me, just by listening to my blog posts or reading, listen, by listening to this podcast or reading my blog posts, you have several business plans that all work. You could become a copywriter. You could start writing books for Amazon. You can start your own SEO company, do local marketing. Right, buddy? There's all these options for how you can start a local business, how you can start a small business, and I teach you how to do them before you have to buy any courses from me. When you want to go beyond that, I have my blueprints and a level above that, of course, I have my deeper plan on how to be, how to get paid as a writer right away. So you have all the resources you need for your first plan. And you can find plans that work in other places. But how do you know a plan is real versus a plan being a total scam? The number one giveaway, the number one sign that you're looking at something that's totally over the top is that it seems too good to be true. That the numbers they promise are too big, that the promises are overwhelming, and that it sounds like high money, low work. And unfortunately, that's the, what most people respond to. Most people won't love It's not as big as it used to be, but there used to be tons of sales videos that said, oh, you just push a button and you're rich. People love the idea of push button marketing or business in a box is popular as well, but they like the idea of you just push one button and then you're rich. That's what everyone really wants. People want no work, but lots of money. 
And real businesses don't work that way. Real money does not work that way. My business does not work that way. Just yesterday, one of my coaching clients was asking me how often I work. And I said, I work seven days a week. And that's true. Part of that is because I work shorter days and I would rather work a l shorter days, seven days a week, than longer days, five days a week. I'm growing my business right now. I'm working on some really big projects. So I'm putting in a lot of time because I'm focused on growth. I really want to grow my business in a big way. And that means time. So when you're looking at a business and everything about the business says it's fast, it's quick, it's easy, it's magic, then you're probably dealing with a whole bunch of lies. That's one of the big problems with choosing your course. The things that are most tempting aren't always the best. I try to be honest in my sales area of my courses and explain that this requires work and effort. It's the balance of giving people enough sizzle that they'll make the purchase and then giving them a good enough content that they'll be able to get the goal to the goal they want. So finding the right path is really about finding a course and a system that you can stick with that's consistent and that's marketed as a business as opposed to just a get rich quick scheme. That's what you're really looking for. Something that you can put in work and take out money. That's the type of machine you're looking for. The second element of quitting your job, of making enough money, is putting in the time. Most people don't execute. Even people with the best of intentions never finish my courses. Never finish any of the courses they buy online, not just mine. They never finish the books they read. They never finish the effort they put in. So they buy this course, whether it's $100 or $10,000, if you don't finish it, what a waste. And it's the same thing. The learning is just the first part. Then you have to finish the execution. If you want to go through my course and learn how to write and publish successful best-selling novels on Amazon, well, there's a whole process. You have to write the book, you have to do the cover, you have to do the marketing, you have to launch the book, you have to do all of these things in order to make money. You can't just pay someone else 100 bucks to write a book, throw it on Amazon, and then watch the money roll in. It's not that easy. It's not magical. Now, the great thing about my business models is that they're scalable. You get to a point where you can put in the same amount of effort, but you make more money each time. So you can actually scale as opposed to getting a one-to-one -one ratio for money to time. The number of people I see who start out trying to do the same stuff as me and then they just don't put in enough time, it's depressing because you have an engine that works, all you gotta do is keep putting the gas into it. I put a lot of work into my business. I put a lot of time in. I record these podcast episodes almost every single day. All of that is part of building my business. I'm trying to build something that's real. Most people approach online business as a hobby or a game. We look at it and we go, oh, well, you know, I'm just playing around online. We don't want to admit that we're trying to build a real business until we see some success. And that lack of conviction affects our effort. If it's just a hobby, you're not going to put in five hours every single night after you get home from work. That's not how we approach it. Mostly what you have to give up to build your business is hobbies and downtime and time where you're really doing nothing. You know, television time, movie time, sitting around time, going to the bar and talking to your buddies about how much you hate your job time. Those are the things you really have to give up to start building a business. But if you take these first two steps, if you find a process that's a real business, and number two, you put in the time investment, you put in the time and energy to build that business, are almost all the way there. Step three is to grow that business organically. And this is very critical because people, people often have that first bit of success. They make $100 from an online venture. The first time I made $100 in a month was a combination of search engine optimization and gift cards. People would uh, enter a contest and I would make a dollar or three dollars depending upon how they entered the contest for each of these entries. And I thought, wow, I made $100 this month. But the amount of effort I put in meant I was making about a dollar for every hour of work I put in. And the business was not sustainable because as I started getting a lot of traffic, all the different companies were mad at me for using their, a picture of their gift cards and stuff on my website. So I started getting all these cease and desists from companies like Walmart, Southwest Airlines. And I didn't really know how to deal with that situation. I was like, well, I'm just giving away your gift cards. It's, you know, it's not my CPA network. But either way, I had a business that didn't have longevity to it. And this is a caveat, a warning for you because we sometimes get into these projects that they make that first hundred dollars and we go, okay, then this is definitely working. Now I'm going to invest 10,000 in growth. We jump and we try to basically become our own angel investors. We put in too much money too quickly. Hopefully you've learned by now to be a disciplined, independent entrepreneur from what I've taught you and you start your business very carefully. So you, the first month or the first six months you control costs until you make a profit. You're not going to spend more money. And I absolutely believe in that. You should buy one course, stick with it until you make money before you buy anything else. So you finally see that first taste of profit and suddenly not only do you spend all the profits in your 
back in your business, you put in extra money on top of it. You go, oh, well, this is selling. I've got three new members in my members area. That means I need to change hosting plans. That means I need to put in better infrastructure. And we jump the gun on those things. We invest a lot of money way too soon. I just invested some money in some custom technology for my members area. If you go inside my members area now, on the homepage, you'll see a list of all of the products I have finished or in development. You can see a big list. And the ones you have access to are bright and colored. And it says, click to go through this course. And the ones that aren't ready say coming soon. And the ones that you don't have say click to buy or something like that. Not click to buy. I forget what it says exactly because I changed the wording. It said click to buy initially, but I think it says like at find out more or add to your order, something like that. So you can click and then you go to the sales page and see it. That technology was not cheap. I had to get it custom built because there's no platform for some reason that has that. I had to hire a team and go through all of this stuff. Now, the only reason I went to that infrastructure right now is because I currently have four products live. It's about to be six and I'm bringing in new customers every few days. I'm getting a new customer at least every day or two. So I wanted the members area to finally look perfect. I could have jumped the gun and built this technology six or seven months ago, but you want to wait until the cost of an improvement is lower than the profit you'll make from it so that it has a positive ROI. You want to do things that are profitable. Hey, don't eat that. <laughs> You're so silly. He's just going crazy. Normally, I don't have my son with me for podcasts for this very reason. He just loves to play and have fun. He's only seven months. Careful, dude. Whoa. When you hit that first success, resist the urge to throw too much money into growth. Because sometimes you might have a winner like my current membership area, but sometimes you might not like my CPA business, like my gift card business. It turned out that that business was very limited. It never broke $300 a month, that business. And I eventually left it behind because it was massive amounts of time for very small profit. It was nice to make that first dollar online, but I wanted so much more. So, so you're building your business as you're going through these three phases. Find one system that you're going to stick with. Two, stick with it until you make money. And three, don't jump the gun on over investing back in your company. It's fine to put the profits back into your business, but don't make the mistake of building debt at that moment because you think, oh, to really grow this, I have to put in a bunch of money. People often make that mistake. They hit that moment and that's when they seek outside investment a lot. That's when they put in too much money. I know you were hoping for perhaps a better formula or a longer episode today, but it's really that simple. The product, the course, the system you're following, that's your engine. Your effort, the time you put in, that's the gasoline, that's the fuel. And when you combine those two things, you will hit success. The main reason people fail in line is that they quit. If you listen to what I say very carefully, your odds of success are very, very high. People get caught at one of these three points and it loses, most people lose their efforts at this point. They either go for a get rich quick scheme that's way too scamish, that's way too short term. Hey, this is an amazing Facebook thing that's gonna work until Facebook figures it out and changes their algorithm. Set the get rich quick scheme because you have to get in and get out very fast. You get excited by that or hey, Here's something you can do to trick Amazon. I've seen that before. There's other authors that teach, hey, put out really crappy 10 page books. Just put out hundreds of them and you'll make some money before Amazon shuts down your account. Anything that says do it until you get caught is not a business. What you want to do is build something that you see and perceive and other people say, oh, that's a real business. People can look at my business and see that it's a real business. I have the pieces, the infrastructure, the tracking, my approach. Everything is like a business. I watch the money ins and the money outs. All of those things are important. That mindset and that behavior is what will unlock the fortune you're seeking. So don't get caught up in the get rich quick or the big promises. Oh, you'll make a million dollars in two days. That sounds great. When you get to the execution phase, you have to put in the hours. One of the people that I know, one of my friends, he came home from work every day and would spend time with the kids, two or three hours. The kids would go to bed. He would go into the garage and he would work for six or seven hours. He was sleeping three or four hours a night and did this for about two years before he really hit his online success. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of grind. To build my business, I lived in my mother's basement for nearly a year and then I slept on a couch for another year and a half. It took me two and a half years to really build my business and part of that was a lot of experimentation, a lot of going through uh, different business models. That's true. I went through those different phases so I did make some of the mistakes I'm telling you not to make. And part of it was that I had limited information. It took me a while to find the correct information but you have access to it right now. Nobody puts in the level of effort to the products that I do because I know everyone else in the business. I know most people, they create an outline and then someone, one of their assistants does everything else and records the videos and makes everything. Now, yeah, my assistant helps me make my slides, but I write the outlines and I do everything else. So the effort that goes into my products, it's so critical to me that they work. It's important to me 
And whether you follow my system, you don't have to. You follow someone else's. Make sure that it's something that's real and something that you're passionate and interested enough that you can put in the effort that it takes, that you'll be able to stay the course. You aren't going to find success with 10 hours of work. It takes 1,000 or 10,000 hours to really achieve the success you're looking for. But once you do, you're going to see some great things. Follow this process. Follow these three simple steps. Find a real business. Put in a lot of effort and don't get too excited at your first success and blow all your money. And you'll be able to quit your job very quickly. You'll be able to create a new destiny for your family. It's exactly what I did and it's exactly what you're capable of. When you're quitting your job, when you're hitting those moments of success, I want to hear back from you because I'm excited about this. I'm excited about the journey you're on and I believe in you. You can email me at podcast at servedmaster.com. You can message me on Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn or any of the other social networks or leave comments on my blog or under the show notes for this episode. I want to hear about that day. I want to hear about your business plans and be able to offer feedback. Every single person that emails me off this podcast, I write them back within one day. I always check my emails and reply. So you have a real resource here. Don't squander a resource you have access to. That's my bonus point, number four, if you will. The fourth step is that when you have access to something, don't blow your chance. Sometimes people, they get access to me and they send me two or three emails asking questions and then they just stop. They decide that, oh, I'm boring him or it's a waste of his time, yada, yada. And they are the ones who end the communication. It's never me. I never tell someone, hey, you're asking too many questions. When you have an opportunity, take advantage of it. When you see someone that you'd like to do business with, find a way to approach them and communicate with them. Find a way to try. Put in that extra effort. Go the extra mile. And when you get access to something or you have something in your life that you can use to grow your business, do it. There's no reason to limit yourself. So many people, we create these artificial rules. I want to make money online, but these are the 10 ways I'm not allowed to do it. I have all these different rules. I'll, I'm willing to blog, but I only want to blog about this. I don't want to blog about that and all these things. And I don't, you know, it's like I, I, we get so caught up in protecting our brand and integrity before we start our business that we make these rules that make it impossible to succeed. Now, I certainly believe in integrity, but I often see people that have these really strange rules about integrity that have, that mean they'll never succeed in business. So don't create rules that limit yourself. Don't decide, oh, I'm only going to work these days a week, or I'll only do this, or I only want this type of audience. When you ever have all of these rules, all of these things limiting you and trapping you, then you're just making it harder for yourself. Don't make it harder. A lot of people I know have all these rules about networking. They say, oh, you're not allowed to approach people. You're not allowed to do this. They tell me all of these rules for networking, how I'm not allowed to walk up to people at this type of situation or that situation. How I'm not allowed to plan things in advance or look up what someone looks like before I go to a conference. These people have all of these rules and that's the reason that I'm so successful and they're not. It's not that I'm doing something better. It's that I simply am not trapped by these silly rules they have. My entire networking empire course, which I've been working on for the last two weeks. I mean, I've been working on it for six months, but I've been recording the videos for the last few weeks. It's all about making your own rules and realizing that you're allowed to talk to people. As long as you do things in the right way, people will love connecting with you. So don't limit yourself. Don't create these rules that hold you back because you're capable of great things. You don't want to be the road bump between you and success. So follow these three simple steps. I remind you one last time. Find a system that works. Put in real effort. Work until it succeeds. And when you hit that moment of success, don't overdo it and overinvest in profits. And you'll find that amazing success. It's very possible to make the money you want, quit your job, and build a real business as long as you follow these very simple steps. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Serve No Master. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss another episode. We'll be back tomorrow with more tips and tactics on how to escape that rat race. Head over to servenomaster.com forward slash podcasts now for your chance to win a free copy of Jonathan's bestseller, Serve No Master. All you have to do is leave a five-star review of this podcast. See you tomorrow. Thank you for listening to the Serve No Master podcast. Make sure to subscribe so that together we can achieve true freedom.